Hi, welcome to Solution Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to be talking about solution concentration. Specifically, we're going to be looking at molarity, percent by mass, percent by volume, parts per million. Let's start off by talking about molarity, which we can find on reference table T. Molarity is the number of moles of solute per one liter or a thousand milliliters of solution. The formula for molarity is molarity, which is represented as a capital M, is equal to moles of your solute, which we represent N as moles, over one liter of solution. So a two molar, represented as two capital M, solution will contain two moles of solute per one liter of solution. A 0.1 molar solution, represented as 0.1 molar, contains 0.1 moles of solute per 1 liter of solution. Now where would you find these formulas? Well, of course, you'd find them in reference table T, as you can see right here. So if you look for concentration, you will find both the molarity formula and the parts per million formula for you to use. Let's look at an example of a molarity problem. What is the molarity of a solution that contains 25 grams of KNO3 in 0.5 liters of solution? So the first thing that we should do is write our molarity formula, where molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. Now we don't have moles of solute here, we actually have the mass of the solute. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is convert to moles. So 25.0 grams of KNO3, multiplication sign and a line. We need the gram formula mass of KNO3 over one mole of KNO3. And the gram formula mass of KNO3 is 101. So if we cross out grams and grams, and we do 25 times one divided by 101, we get for an answer 0 0.25 moles of KNO3. So now we have moles. Now we have to go on and find molarity. So again, we know molarity is equal to moles over liters. So the number of moles that we found was 0 0.25 moles of KNO3, and they gave us liters. They said that in our initial problem, that it was 0 0.500 liters of solution. So when we divide 0 0.25 divided by 0.5, our answer will be 0.5 molar KNO3. And that's our final answer. So that's one way of doing a molarity problem. Where would they give you the mass? You have to convert to moles. They give you liters, so then you do moles over liters, and that will get you molarity. We'll practice this more in the future. Now let's talk about percent by mass, also known as percent composition. And we've done percent composition problems before in class, but it's always good to do a little refresher. So percent by mass is another method of describing the concentration of a solution. So percent by mass is equal to the grams of the solute over the total grams of solution, the total mass of solution, times 100. So let's look at an example. What is the percent by mass of potassium permanganate if 20 grams of KMnO4 is added to 200 grams of water? So the first thing that we should always do is write out our formula. So percent by mass is equal to part over the whole times 100. Now the part here is our solute, and we know based on the given that we have 20 grams of KMnO4 as our solute, and then on the bottom they want the total mass of solution. So that means you need to add together the 20 grams of the solute and the 200 grams of water, because the water here is your solvent. Now if they said 200 grams of solution, yeah, of course, we'd be putting 200 grams on the bottom of this ratio, but they don't. 
and you need to be careful here. So we need to add together the solute plus the solvent to get the total mass of solution. So on the bottom, we put the total mass of the solution, which would be 220 grams of solution. Then we would multiply that times 100. Then we do the math, 20 divided by 220 times 100. So our final answer here would be 9.1%. So 9.1 of our solution would be KMNO4. Next, let's talk about percent by volume. Percent by volume can be used to describe the concentration of a liquid in a solution. So a situation like food coloring in water. So percent by volume is equal to grams or milliliters of solute over total milliliters of solution times 100. So very, very similar to percent by mass. For example, what is the percent by volume of food coloring if five milliliters of red food coloring is added to 100 milliliters of water. So still we're going to do percent is equal to part over the whole times 100. In this case the part is the five milliliters. So we'll put five milliliters up on top of food coloring. Again we have to be careful here because they're telling us that our solvent is 100 milliliters of water. So the total volume of our solution will be 105 milliliters times 100. And if we do the math here and we do 5 divided by 105 times 100, our final answer will be 4.8%. And if we round it up to one significant figure, we'd say about 5% food coloring in a total volume of 105 milliliters of solution. Now let's talk about parts per million, represented as PPM. This too is also found on your reference table T. Parts per million is used when you have concentrations of very dilute solutions. These are often expressed in parts per million because percent by mass or percent by volume is just not detailed enough. So parts per million is equal to grams of solute over grams of solution times one million. Now this is no different than percent by mass or percent by volume. The only thing that you're changing is you're changing 100 to a million. So don't get overwhelmed by this. Again, this formula is also found on your reference table. So you, if you look for concentration, you will also find the parts per million formula. Remember, if a problem is given in kilograms, please make sure you change kilograms into grams so your units are consistent. Let's look at an example. It was found that a polluted sample of groundwater contained 0.15 grams of PCBs per 1,000 milliliters of water. Express this in parts per million. So the first thing that we need to do is write our formula. Parts per million is equal to grams of solute over grams of solution times 1 million. And then what we're going to do is just substitute in our values. So the grams of solute is 0.15 grams. The grams of solution, again, will be 1,000 milliliters of water plus 0.15. And you want to make sure that you represent all of this. So 1,000.15. I know it seems sort of silly, but you need to do it. So then we have a million at the end. And if we do 0.15 divided by 1,000.15 times a million, our final answer will be 150 parts per million. And that's an example of how to do a parts per million problem. So what did you learn? We did an example of molarity, percent by mass, percent by volume, and parts per million. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.